Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and my name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video we are going to discuss about how we can create SharePoint site columns in PowerShell. So if you have not checked my previous video, go through that I have explained what is a site column, how we can create through browser as well as how we can create a site column using REST API. So today we will see how we can create site columns. Uh, using PowerShell and here we will see how we can create single line of text, multi line of text, date and time, people picker, choice, this kind of columns using PowerShell. And for this particular all or all this script we will write in uh, Windows PowerShell IC but you can use any, any editor if you want. You can uh, save the script in a, a PS1 format and then you can run it. So, you can use the way you want to execute it. I am going to use here SharePoint system code with PowerShell. So make sure you, you can install SharePoint online client component SDK so that the DLLs that we are going to use here will be available on your system. I am using a Windows 10 system and I will try to connect with a SharePoint online site. So let me open the SharePoint site. So this is the SharePoint site and here we are going to execute or here we are going to create the site columns using PowerShell. Now let me open the notepad where I have all the scripts here. So you can see here, let me just make it little bigger font. So you can see here, the first one we will create a single line of text and uh, here you can see, we, as I said, I will use microsoft.sharepoint.client.dll. You can see here and the other one is client.runtime.dll. So make sure once you install that SDK, you will have this path or you will have this folder where you will get all your DLLs. Now the next thing I have done is provided the SharePoint site URL. This is a group name for the site column so that it will be available under one group and this is going to be the internal name and this one is going to be the display name and then we are taking the context so then we are putting the credential everything it will take the username, username and password and then finally if you will use context.wave.fields it will give you all the fields or all the columns and then you can see here I am loading everything. The reason behind that is we will check whether the title is available or the column is available on that particular display name or not. So if you will look at this you can also check with display name or internal name. For this particular example I am checking with the display name here you can see. The next thing is once you check if it is uh, not there so if it will give uh, or if it will uh, return null um, then only we will create it else you can see we are displaying a message saying that SharePoint site column already exists. So if you will see here now what we are doing is we have to provide a structure here field type field then type you can see text text means it will create a single line of text then display name what is going to be your display name you can see here I have passed it here from this variable this is the uh, display name here you can see this is the display name and the internal name so next parameter is the internal name and if you want to make it required then you can make it true in this case I have read, uh, wrote it as false so it will not be a required field and this is going to be the group name so the group name will be the name that we have provided here and in this case the group name I am giving here is uh, SP guides site columns. So now I will copy the entire code and then finally you have to uh, add it. You can see here, uh, then we need to add the new column. So all columns dot add field as X XML and then we need to pass the XML here. If you want to add this field to the default view, you can make it like this. And then finally context dot execute query so that the a column will get created and then finally you can see here we are just showing the message that column created successfully so i will just copy this and i will open a uh, windows powershell iac so you can see here i will run as administrator and you can see here it is opening here and i will just create a new file 
and I will put the code here. So this is the code that we are going to execute here. Make sure that this DLL should be available on this location. Even you have download from Nougat package or anywhere, you can put it some in your local drive and you can give that path. Now I will click on run. So I will just copy the username from here. You can see I'll just copy the username and then I'll put the password here. and I will click on OK. So once you click on OK, now if you will scroll down, you can see here it is showing SharePoint site column created successfully. Now let's go back to our SharePoint site. You can see here and I will go to the gear icon and then click on site settings. If you will come back here under web designer galleries, there is site columns and here I have created a group as SP guide site column. So I'll select from this show group and once you do that then you can see here this is the column that we are created we have created and uh, the internal name and this is the display name and you can check the internal name if i'll open this you can see here this is going to be the internal name and you can see this is a single line of text and the group it is taking like this and the next one i will show you is how we can create multi-line text and in this case only difference that we will make it is um instead of passing a text type you can see here the field type i mentioned here as note apart from that you can see here the it is taking the same parameter like display name or name internal name required false and then the group and this is going to be the display name the uh, display name of the column and this is going to be the internal name and we are going to keep inside the same group now let, let's run this and I'll click on OK. Once you click on OK, you can see here SharePoint column created successfully. So I will just refresh this field, this page, and I will go here SP guide side column. You can see here your address column, and this is multi line text. Then the next column that we are going to create is a date time field. So let me just put it here. There is a only a minimal change here. So if you look at here in the date time column i have passed the type as date and time sorry date time and then you can see the format i entered here is date only so that means it will only take the date only format i'll run it here now you can see here i'll click on ok and the site column created successfully just to refresh this page and we will select the group here because we have used the same group name and here you can see your joining date is the site column. The next one we will see here is the people picker. Now when you will create a people picker column you need to pass the field type as user and here the list user information list you can see here the user selection mode is only people only so that means we can only select people and we, we cannot select SharePoint groups here. So if I will just copy it here into our PowerShell IC, I'll run this, I'll put the credential. You can see here, I'll click on OK and it will take some time and you can see the SharePoint side column created successfully. So let's select this. You can see here, now your manager name is the person or group column that we created. The last one we will create is a choice column. Now when you will create a choice column in that case we actually need to provide the choice values. Apart from the internal name and the display name we will also pass the choice fields. So if you will see here the type I took here is choice and then you can see the field this is the end tag here and inside that I took choices and within that I have taken choice HR, choice finance and choice IT like this. So what will happen is it will add these three choices into that column. So I will just copy this text here or the script and I will go to my PowerShell IC. I'll run it here. Now you can see here. Um, it is saying SharePoint site column created successfully. The final one we will see, it should be a choice column now. You can see here, 
and uh, the last one you can see here your department is the choice column of type choice and if you we'll select this you can see here the choices are coming at HR finance and IT so this is how we can create various uh, type of choice column that we can uh, various type of columns or the side columns for a SharePoint online site and this will work for SharePoint classic site or SharePoint modern site all the scripts you can get it from uh, the blog post i'll put that link in the video description all the script everything will get that apart from that if you want to learn sharepoint i have a sharepoint development training course which is a complete training course having 23 modules are there and more than 60 hours of course it includes spfx power platform like power apps power automate flow power bi and apart from that if you want to learn sharepoint through this kind of similar free videos you can subscribe to our youtube channel and you will get a lot of free videos on office 365 Web sharepoint power platform and spfx thank you and have a nice day